but my body my body is telling me yes oh the, oh, mm, mm, the commentary all right, all right what up everyone it's regelli here not too long ago a friend asked me about a picture that was posted on one of my previous uh, videos and i got curious like hey man what brought you what brought you up this uh this random picture uh, and he said he was watching one of my previous commentaries and i was a little bit surprised since it's been a while since i worked on them Finally, uh, finally asked them and a few others if I should make a few more random videos and they all agreed so well here I am. My last commentary I uploaded was over my previous job, uh, for those who haven't watched it. Uh, it was over Radio Shack. Oh jeez, I used this name so many times. <laughs> but I do miss this place and I do miss my crew that ran the store and I really do mean it. Uh, there's still, there's, there are still moments when I drive by through that empty vacancy and you know, there's something in there. It just really breaks my heart. But anyways, uh, after right after uh, right after my Radio Shack uh, career, uh, I guess if you would call it a career, uh, been there for four years. I moved to uh, the Sprint local Sprint store. You know, I was thinking, you know, they got electronics, deal with customers. It's gotta be pretty close, right? And I was right. It was pretty darn close to Radio Shack. I was there probably about two weeks though. I didn't really stay that long. As soon as I started working at the Sprint store. Well, my father, who owns a small tire shop, asked me if I wanted to work with if I wanted to work with him. And well, I joined. Uh, the Sprint store wasn't really bad to work for. I mean, like I, I mean, they still paid well. They still helped the customers, and they still helped the electronics. It was retail at the end, and it did leave it. some of my sadness uh, seeing Radio Shack going away. But I thought, you know, basically it was just an opportunity to grab a job where I didn't have to be a salesman, where I didn't have to push customers into buying things that they didn't need or maybe things that they didn't really want uh, you know life as a salesman but uh, anyways no more warranties no more numbers no more putting up with stupid people it's what I told myself basically before I before I even got hired so granted I joined uh, it's been there I've been there probably about four months or less I still remember before I first started I was asked are you sure you can handle this this is a pretty dirty job I mean I'm pretty much going from an office job to a tire shop and I just, and I was, and I kind of laughed and I told him, you know, a, a little bit of grease won't hurt me. That wasn't the real problem. The real problem was the weight of the tires. I didn't really factor that in. <laughs> so more or less, if we get hammered, by the end of the day, I'll have a pretty sore back. Uh, but besides that, uh, besides the physical pain, I'm enjoying it. It really did turn out to be less mentally stressful. And like I said, by that I mean, you know, mentally, I mean by lifting heavy tires will physically wear you out. Uh, unless I'm not really doing it correct. I mean, unless there's a particular way to lift the tire. But anyways, uh, I still do interact with customers here and there. And it's most looks, most, it's usually mostly like, hey, what are you looking for? And they'll respond, I'm looking for a tire, so forth. Me and the manager will uh, help them out and, uh, you know, we move on. Uh, all right, okay, yeah. Uh, as far as the crew goes, the crew isn't that big. It's just really my manager and I. Uh, for those who are curious how big the shop is, it's not very big. Uh, and we are located in one of the poor side of the town. Uh, Radio Shack was located at a shopping mall. So different environments, uh, you know, different customers of course because of the geography. Uh, but at the end, you know, most customers were pretty cool at the end. Uh, just like Radio Shack and there was also stupid people like Radio Shack. But I guess the only biggest difference between, that, uh, between the customers uh, at the mall stores versus this tire shop is the fact that these people like to drink and smoke a lot. Uh, in fact, uh, not too long ago, a customer was sending out beer, and he gave one to my manager. He was sending one to me, and I, and I declined. And he kind of looked at me like I was some kind of alien or sorts. Uh, you know, basically, I wasn't trying to be rude. It's just not really my thing. And uh, basically, my manager took his offer, but I said, you know, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not a drinker. Uh, but thanks, though. And you know, basically, I politely said no, and he still looked at me a little confused. I don't know if I offended him, or I don't know if I've completely like, I don't know. Maybe he saw some kind of creature that he couldn't figure out. I just didn't know what was the situation. But at the end, uh, he was pretty cool. So there's a few more stories, but I'm gonna say those for a different time. Having said that, you know, I really enjoy it. It's a good place to work for. Great to work along with my manager. Uh, still learning new things, still learning a little bit of mechanic work, uh, getting my hands dirty, but uh, that's just part of the job. And uh, anyways, though, that's basically what's going on with with me right now. If uh, anything else comes up, I'll let you guys know. Uh, oh yeah, and the job doesn't really pay that well. 
So maybe in a few months, in a few weeks, or in a few days, I might start a job search. Uh, but until then, I'm enjoying life. I, I'm still kicking. I still do my thing. That's what really matters. And I'll see you guys around. And don't forget to comment, like, dislike if you didn't like, like if you liked. Uh, I definitely need some feedback. Really appreciate it. And don't forget to comment. <laughs> see you guys around.